everyone, welcome to the Sloodle Newsroom. My name is Paul Pribish in the real world and Fire Centaur in Second Life. Today, I'm going to show you the first step in configuring Sloodle for use in Second Life. This involves creating a Sloodle controller activity on your Moodle website, resing a Sloodle set, and then configuring the Sloodle set to connect with the Sloodle controller activity. So buckle up and let's get started. Okay, so here we are on my Sloodle 101 test site. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a Sloodle controller to one of my classes. So I'm gonna scroll down to the sand, Sloodle Sandbox class. I'm gonna click on that. And um, of course, you're going to have to be logged in as either an administrator or a course creator. Now on the top right, I'm going to turn editing on. Now we can add an activity. So in the add an activity drop down box, I'm going to scroll down to Sloodle modules and right under Sloodle modules, I'll see Sloodle controller. So I'll just select that. And now we can add a new Sloodle module, module type Sloodle controller. So I'm going to type in Sloodle Sandbox Controller and a description. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and press save and return to the course. Great, we now have a Sloodle controller and we can now connect our Sloodle set to it in Second Life. Okay, so we've just set up our Sloodle controller on our Moodle website. Now we need to res the Sloodle set in Second Life and connect it to a controller. Now there's two places that you can get the Sloodle set. You can either teleport to Sloodle Island and get it from the marketplace, or you can actually go on SL Exchange and do for a search for it there and have it sent to you. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go down to the Sloodle Marketplace and get it there. So let's go. Now if you press Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac, you'll get the search, Second Life search window. If you just click on the Places tab, you can type in Sloodle here. Press Search and find Sloodle Island and press Teleport. We're now arriving in the Sloodle welcome area. In the Sloodle welcome area, you'll find a directory that shows the island map. Okay, if you look closely at the island directory, one of the options says Sloodle free market, drop in for your free Sloodle tools. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on that and here we are in this little marketplace. So let's just peruse through the marketplace and find our Sloodle set. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is version 0.21. We don't want that. There's another version 0.21. Here's 0.3. What we're going to do is we're going to take the 0.4 version. So it's a vending machine. All you got to do is click on it. And a menu comes up, and you just select the Sloodle set. So I'm going to press the button, and the Sloodle set will get delivered to me. Okay, and there it is. So I'm going to press Keep. And now if you go to your inventory, you'll see that in your Reset Items under Objects, there's the Sloodle set. So let's go back to the newsroom and res it and get busy. Okay, so here we are, back at the newsroom. So I'm gonna go to my inventory and I'm gonna drag this little set onto the ground. And let's take a look at it here. Okay, now it's important to note that the 
This little set is set to the correct group of the land. Um, sometimes land is set only to allow group members to run scripts. So here we can see that this group is English Village and this little set is also set to English Village. So we're good to go. Now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the podium. And when I touch the podium, you'll see in local chat it says, please chat the address of your Moodle site without the trailing backslash. So I'm going to type in my Moodle site, HTTP English Village Asia slash Sloodle. And I'm going to press enter. And now what's happening is the Sloodle set is connecting to my web page. So a little menu comes up and it says go to page. So I'm going to click that. And the web page loads up. And it says Sloodle object authorization, object details, object name, Sloodle set. And then if we scroll down, it says Sloodle object authorization, select controller. I'm going to select the sandbox controller that we created earlier. And do you want to authorize this object? Just leave it as yes and press the submit button. And it says in green, object authorization has been successful. Fantastic. So let's just scroll down and we can actually just close this window here. So now back in Second Life, you're going to have to download that configuration. So we're going to click on the podium again. The menu comes up and it says zero access web configuration page. That would take us back to the page we were just at or download configuration. So we're going to click one for download configuration. And this little set will now contact my website and download what we just authorized. And boom, it's ready. So we're ready to go. We can now click to res Sloodle objects on this large refrigerator looking part of the Sloodle set. So that's all there is to it, to configuring the Sloodle set. So since this Sloodle set is now configured, we can start using it. So you can click on this part here, and the menu comes up, and you'll notice there's a scroll a scroller. We can scroll down and see the, see the different Sloodle tools available for us to res. So let's res the, ah, let's go to the next page. I'm going to click on the next page button here. And let's res the web intercom. So I'm going to press number 14. And you'll notice that a Sloodle tool has appeared behind the Sloodle set. So I'm just going to grab this little baby. I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, what is it? It is the web intercom. Okay, now since it's been res by the Sloodle set, we can easily configure this web intercom just by clicking on it. A blue menu is going to come up and it's going to say go to web page. And it's going to take us right to the same web page uh, that we configured the Sloodle set for. In this case, that's englishvillage.asia slash Sloodle. So you're going to press on this go to page button. And we get an object configuration page. And in red, it says, this object has already been authorized. If you want to reauthorize it, then please delete the, its authorization entry from your Sloodle controller. Well, I've actually configured a, a web intercom before with this class. So I'm just going to ignore this red text. And I'm going to select the chat room that I want to connect this web intercom to. And I'm going to scroll down and press submit. And then it says object details, object name, Sloodle Web Intercom, number of settings stored, seven. And press the continue button and go back to Second Life. Now I can just click on the Web Intercom in Second Life and select download configuration. And now the Web Intercom is ready. So you can do this with each tool you now res from the Sloodle set. It's the same routine. Just res your object, click on it, go to the web page, authorize it, and download the configuration. Think you can remember that? Well, it will take a few times to uh, get the routine down, but I'm sure within no time, it'll be a piece of cake. 
Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you. Um, and we will see you in second level. Bye.